Okay, so I'm going to show you how to replace the screen in my Lenovo ThinkPad. And I ordered the screen on Wednesday and it came on Saturday. Um, this is how it's packaged. So I'll open up the box and here's how it arrives. I ordered this 14 inch LCD screen, the battery out off the back. So we'll do that. slide this, pull that out, we'll lay this off to the side. And the next thing that you need to do is take the screen off. And this is pretty simple. Uh, it pops right off. So you just take your fingers along the bottom, work it around to the sides. You start to pop things off and continue to pop off the frame from the LCD screen. And just kind of work your way around and it'll start to pop off. You want to be very delicate at the same time, firm, and that easy just pops right off and we'll just lay this over to the side the next thing you need to do is to remove the screws and you'll see that there's four screws and on some videos you'll see that they actually have screwdrivers that are designed for laptops I don't and uh, I didn't want to go out and make a purchase so I actually just have a Phillips screwdriver in my house and I'm using that Phillips screwdriver to remove these uh, these screws and it's pretty simple so basically you want to lay the screen down flat if you can and start removing the screws and it comes out just that easy this has a magnetic uh, metal so it just sticks right to the screwdriver. Now the other thing is to remember where you lay these screws. That's very important. So we have this metal pan and we're just going to lay the screws in there so we don't lose them. And you move on to the next screw. And that popped right off. So we'll put that in the dish and the last screw Just remove that with my fingers and we have the last screw okay now I'm going to slide this computer forward because this part is a little bit more delicate push this down and I'm going to get my other screen ready for insertion so I'm just going to remove it from the plastic and as you can see it has plastic covering it for safety and I want to get this in a position so that it's ready for me to, to put in place so I'm going to remove this tape that they have placed okay and that's just holding the plastic on okay and I'm going to keep that plastic on so you'll see that the plastic is there but I'm going to keep it on so I don't scrape the LCD screen and I'm lining this up because this is where my power cord will go in for the LCD unit and that's right under here. Uh, the next thing to do is to remove the LCD screen and that just slides right down like this and right here is tape that's affixing the, the connector for the LCD screen and you just kind of pull that off, wiggle it off and that's it's really that simple to just disconnect this 
It seems like a delicate operation, but uh, it's pretty strong. So the screen is removed, and the one thing that I'll point out is that when I ordered this screen, I had to tell them the model number to get the, the right screen for this computer. And you won't be able to see it very clearly, but here it says model number, and then you see this number, and I formed the agent of the model number, and they were able to direct me to the right screen for this computer. So I'd recommend that you call them or, or chat with them just to make sure that you have the right screen. Okay, so I'm going to lay this aside, and I'm now going to affix the new screen. Let me just keep this laid down. Slide this in. And it's not as easy to get this thing slid in. I have done this before and it was so much easier. I'm not sure why I'm having difficulty now. Okay, so there we go. See that just slid right in there. But I'm using the tape, as you can see, to pull it in. And then I use the tape to affix it and hold it, hold it in as well. So there you go, it's now affixed. And I'm going to remove this tape and get rid of that plastic on the front and slide this in. Just Once you have the screen placed, you want to make sure that your screw holes are also lined up. And I can see very clearly that the screw holes, except for this top one, are lined up properly. And I want to take the screw and place it in here, like so. And just push it in and kind of hold it steady. And this is not easy, so if you're having difficulty, don't worry. I had several issues before. And you're just going to screw that in. Notice I'm going clockwise. I went counterclockwise to get it out and clockwise to get it in. Now I feel like it's not going in properly so I'm actually going to go to another hole and make sure that I have this properly lined up. So this is not completely in yet. I'm going to go up here and uh, that one popped in much easier so I don't think I'm going to have as many problems up here. I'm going to screw this in. Okay, uh, That's going in much easier. Okay. Yep. The next thing is to put the frame on, but I want to test it and make sure that the screen is working. So I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in first and slide this battery in like so. Pop that in. Test to see if it works. Press on your power button. You can see my lights coming on. Lenovo, the screen works beautiful. So um, this is a good sign that everything is working pro properly. And what I'm going to do now is to grab the frame while that is powering up. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it on. 